Well, it looks like we're ready to, ready to start. We got so many tremendously talented fighters up here. Uh, you know, this is really what makes these Superfly shows so special, is you get this uh, world-class talent, all this world-class talent on one show. Not only do we have the HBO triple header, but we have a tremendous undercard uh, for everyone. So the doors open at 4 o'clock at the Forum. Um, this is going to be another uh, one of those shows where the fans just get a lot of value. When we have tickets starting at $25, it's, uh, we try to really price this uh, show correctly uh, and for the fans to get as many fans down to the Forum as possible. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of people I need to thank uh, that we're part of uh, putting this together when you have so many great fighters coming from all over the world, all corners of the world, uh, it takes a lot of logistics, a lot of planning, um, just really uh, a, lot of, a lot of teamwork to put this together. Um, with that, uh, I want to uh, really thank HBO. Uh, HBO is the platform that's responsible for the Superfly series. This is the third installment of uh, Superfly. It really came about uh, when Chocotito Gonzalez was fighting together with Triple G on the shows. It was the top two pound for pound fighters on the same show. Then when uh, we did the rematch with uh, Chocotito and, and Rungvisai, uh, Sol Rungvisai, that, that's what launched uh, Superfly 1. Then we had Estrada versus Rungvisai, and now we have Juan Francisco Estrada headlining the show against Orokuta. So, uh, the great thing about these series is that everyone, all these uh, fighters are willing to fight each other, uh, unlike the heavier divisions where they they're, uh, you know, want to delay the fights. HBO is a great platform. These fighters all recognize the opportunity being on HBO. And so that's how we get these uh, talented fighters, uh, you know, on the same show. With that, I want to, uh, want to uh, introduce, uh, I wanted to bring up, uh, Tony Walker from uh, HBO. Uh, Tony, if you want to come up and, and say a few words. Thanks a lot, Tom. I'd like to, uh, on behalf of Peter Nelson, the Executive Vice President of HBO Sports, and the rest of the HBO staff, thank all of you for coming. We really appreciate the, uh, the media support uh, this fight and the Superfly series has gotten. Uh, it's attention well deserved by all the great fighters on this dais. We, uh, we think we have the formula for a great weekend. First, we're at the Forum, an iconic venue. Want to thank the folks at Madison Square Garden and the Forum for hosting this fight again. Uh, we know it's going to be a great show. We have our award winning broadcast team, great production staff, and we have the fighters. It's amazing the unending, unending supply of world-class fighters that are willing to fight at this weight class. Uh, we've done three shows now, multiple championship fights, and I think only Juan Estrada is the only fighter who's been on all three shows. So we look for another great Saturday night and some person making their way to the top. All of this is only possible because of Tom Loeffler and his 360 promotion staff who goes across the globe, finding fighters, finding people willing to work with him. So we want to take Tom, thank Tom and just uh, ask him to keep it up. We uh, start on the air at 945 Eastern time. So that means that here locally, the first punch on HBO will be a few minutes past 645. And after live boxing on Saturday night, you're going to see 24 seven Canelo Triple G2, where Jim Lampley, Daniel Jacobs and Freddie Roach analyzed the upcoming September 15th pay-per-view show. It all adds up to a great night of boxing on HBO, and uh, we really appreciate everybody here, and uh, hope to see you Saturday. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. This is, uh, you know, this show, I mean, you see uh, with the media turnout, with all the cameras in the back, this show has really gotten a lot of attention. Uh, you know, we couldn't do it without uh, our lead sponsor, with uh, Tecate. Uh, Tecate has been very supportive of the sport of boxing. Uh, they've uh, sponsored all of our shows, all the, the uh, Superfly Series shows. So we really want to thank them. Uh, the doors open, as I mentioned, 4 o'clock. The terrace at the Forum opens at 3 o'clock. Uh, that's, a, that's a, uh, a great venue. To get there early, you get to see all the great fighters uh, at, at the show. Um, 
I also, before I get into introducing some more principles, I just want to thank everyone internally on, uh, on our side. Um, having these great fighters flying in from all over the world, from Puerto Rico, from Japan, from the Philippines, from Mexico, uh, it just uh, uh, it's really takes a lot of work, a lot of teamwork with, uh, with their promoters, with their managers, with, with uh, you know, all the teams. I want to thank uh, Erica St. Philip, who's uh, my right-hand person. She, without her, you know, these shows wouldn't be possible. Uh, Torsten Meyer of Life in Motion Group make, keeps everything uh, together. Uh, Roy Engelbrecht, uh, Melissa Mosco, uh, Rondi Nicola, Mike Stiles, the uh, list goes on and on. Just uh, everyone that really helps uh, doing, doing their shows. Bernie Barmercell does the uh, publicity, Ricardo Jimenez. You know, there's so many people involved. So without, without the internal team, you know, it would be difficult to, uh, to put these, these uh, shows together. Andrea Smith, I see uh, Andrea's in the back there. Yeah. So um, with that, I want to uh, just start out with uh, someone whose father I, I had a very dear and close relationship with. Um, Mauricio Suleiman has taken over uh, following in his father's footsteps. Uh, there'll never be another Don Jose Suleiman, but Mauricio is a really uh, leading the, the, the WBC uh, as capably uh, and, and uh, uh, just as experienced as possible. So with that, I want to bring up Pepe Suleiman to, to say a few words on behalf of the World Boxing Council. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. You know, it takes a very creative mind and a lot of work to come out with, uh, with this concept, the Superfly 3. Now, su now Superfly 3. The WBC is very, very happy and thrilled to be here, you know, surrounded by so much glory. And uh, we, we are 100% uh, supportive. Uh, it's, you know, a combination of Tom, uh, 360 Promotions, HBO, you know, it's, 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 it's things, that's the best that, that we can, can have, you know. So I just want to wish all the boxers, WBC, we have, of course, three, three WBC fights in the card uh, with uh, Estrada and uh, Urucuta, Yoka and Arroyo and Houghton and, and Flores. And, but we are thrilled about the whole, fight, the whole card. There's going to be terrific fight night. So I just wish, wish the best of luck to all the, the, the fighters. And, uh, and uh, thank you very much, and the WBC support uh, is, is 100%. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pepe. Your uh, speeches are a lot shorter than uh, your father's, <laughs> if anyone that's been to a WBC convention. Um, uh, with these great matchups, <laughs> Elvis knows he's been to a few. With these great matchups, you know, the main event is a WBC uh, official eliminator. The winner of Estrada and Orokuda will be the mandatory challenger for Sistriket Sorungasai. Uh, we have Donnie Nietes fighting again a against Aston Palakte. That's for the vacant WBO World Championship. We have uh, McWilliams Arroyo defending his WBC silver title against Kazuto Ioka. A lot of people are looking forward to seeing Ioka on this show. They've heard so many things about him. He has legendary status in Japan. And uh, now with the exposure on HBO, uh, we, we're looking forward to tremendous things from him. I want to thank uh, Taku for uh, making that possible, working together with uh, Kazuto. And, uh, you know, McWilliams Arroyo, this is his second time on a Superfly series. He had a tremendous win over. Carlos Cuadras on Superfly 2, and that earned him the shot to come back on Superfly 3. So that's what I'm saying. You know, all these talented fighters, you can mix a match and get so many great matchups. Even on the undercard, there's two championship fights, two title fights that aren't even going to be on HBO, but they'll be streamed. They'll be available to the public. Um, we have uh, Bang Bang Lulu Houghton fighting Brenda Flores. That's for the WBC Atomweight Championship. And then we have Bruno Escalante fighting against uh, Alexandro Marin uh, for, the, uh, for the vacant uh, IBF Intercontinental Championship. So, you know, having five championship fights on a show like this 
is, uh, is a big accomplishment. So not only do we have to deal with the, the fighters, the promoters, their teams, all the sanctioning bodies, the officials, I want to give a, a, a very uh, special thanks to the California Athletic Commission, uh, Andy Foster, and all the great work that uh, he does uh, here uh, regulating boxing uh, and combat sports in the state of California. Uh, so with that, I'd like to bring up someone that we've done a number of fights together. Um, this fight wouldn't have been possible uh, without the help of uh, Zanfer Promotions. Uh, we've done, uh, as I mentioned, we did uh, a lot of fights together. We did the Salido fight together last year at uh, Mandalay Bay. Uh, he represents uh, Jaime Munguia, who's actually fighting the next week. Uh, was a potential Triple G opponent, but uh, we've seen that Jaime Munguia has had tra uh, two great victories on HBO. Uh, Jaime will be on the, uh, the pay-per-view broadcast uh, for the following week. Uh, I want to bring up uh, Juan Carlos Torres of Zanford Promotions. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, to the press conference, thanks for being here. Uh, on behalf of Sanford, I really wanna thank uh, everybody involved, of course, HBO, uh, Tecate, uh, 360, uh, with Tom. Uh, thanks for being, let us be a part of all the three Superflights uh, cards. Uh, really, in boxing, uh, Superfly has been probably lately uh, synonymous with the word great. You know, the first, the first Superfly you know, uh, they, I remember everybody saying that that was the most completed fight of that year. Then the Superfly 2, we had a, a fight of the year candidate. This card right now, uh, it's no exception. You know, from the first fight, uh, a six-rounder is going to be a Mexican star, a Mexican Olympian, uh, Joselito Velasquez, probably one of the best prospects of Mexico, fighting against a kid from Tijuana, Juan Flores. So from that first fight, then, then the first televised fight with Ioka and, uh, and Arroyo, uh, it's got a, you know, possibly the fight of the year right there. Of course, Donny Nietes, I've been a fan of Donny Nietes. I work with uh, Michael Aldegar for many of uh, Donny's fights. Uh, he's a future Hall of Famer. Uh, he's been uh, getting every record over there in the Philippines. He's been a champion for our, I don't know how much, uh, you know, how long. So uh, the, the card is completed, you know, and all, obviously the main event with uh, Gallo Urucuta, with Gallito Urucuta, we, promote, we had the pleasure of promoting him for uh, many, many of his fights. We know him, he, we know he comes to fight. Uh, he's always well prepared. He's been uh, fighting in Argentina uh, for titles. He's been all over the world fighting, and uh, we know he brings a lot. But the reality is that uh, Estrada, Juan Francisco Estrada, his prime, the prime of his career is right now. And uh, I remember talking to Tom about doing this fight, and uh, he offered uh, many fights before this one. And he always, we were talking to, to Juan Hernandez, and, and they always said no. They wanted the, the rematch against Rubinside. And uh, he said, well, Rubinside might not fight till probably later in the year. He said, I don't care. I want to wait for that fight. So Estrada is in the prime of his career. He's a very competitive guy. We know we're going to see the best of him in this fight. It's going to be a tremendous fight. And uh, I hope to see you there on Saturday. And for everybody that doesn't got, not be there, I hope you tune in to HBO. So uh, thank you to everyone and hope to see you there. Thanks, JC. When you have uh, Jose, Jose Lito Lopez, a Mexican Olympian, as the very first fight on the show, you know this is going to be special. There's a couple more fighters on the undercard. Uh, uh, Mario Ramos from San Diego, he's going to be uh, on the show. And uh, Jonathan Escoval, who's actually a sparring partner for Triple G. Uh, the last uh, day of sparring is going to be tomorrow on Friday. And then he's going to be fighting the next day on, uh, on Saturday. So uh, he brings a lot of fans with him. So uh, with that, I want to introduce, um, I want to bring up uh, for the IBF Intercontinental title. Uh, 
This is, this is a great matchup. This, uh, if you look at this on paper, it's one of those true, a lot of people you hear say 50-50 matchups, but I think when you look at this, uh, both of these guys are fighting to move up, uh, fighting to win this uh, Intercontinental title. Uh, Bruno Escalante versus Alexandro Marin. Uh, with that, I want to bring up Bruno Escalante to say a few words. Bruno. All right. Um, aloha, everyone. Um, first, uh, I want to thank God for keeping me healthy to fight this, this Saturday. I um, also want to thank Tom Laffer and 360 Promotions for giving me this opportunity to fight for this card and the Superfly 3. Back in February, I was here watching the Superfly 2, and I told the, some reporters that I want to be in the Superfly 3. And here I am now, um, fighting for the IBF Intercontinental Championship. I just want to um, also thank uh, Danny Zamora for helping us get this fight. I want to thank my coaches, Michael Basil, Miguel Rios, just a year and a half ago, um, I was on the um, crossroad where if I should uh, retire or continue to fight. But my two coaches motivated me to continue to fight. And here I am today, I fight four times since. I didn't be my fourth time, four different promoters. And I'm just really blessed to be here fighting on Saturday for the IBF Intercontinental. I want to also thank my sponsors, uh, Snack, uh, Scientific Nutrition for Advanced Conditioning, uh, Ford Chiropractic, uh, Pinnacle Construction, Pizzeria Inferno, and Catch the Wonder Horse. Thank you. Also, about the fight, if you haven't got your tickets yet, get your tickets because uh, it's going to be explosive. Just my fight, my, my fight alone is going to be uh, explosive because the guy I'm fighting, he's undefeated. We have to beat each other up for this fight to move up to the world title. So, you know, you're going you're gonna to see two hungry fighters be fighting for, a, for the championship. So if you haven't have your ticket yet, get your tickets because it's going to be explosive. We have a great um, world champion on HBO, Estrada, Dani Nietes, and uh, Palekte, two Filipino fighters. You, if, you know, if you're going to be in the area, make sure you get your tickets. All right. Aloha. Thanks, Bruno. Yeah, Bruno was asking about being on the next show, and it, uh, it worked out that way. But, you know, it's a tough fight against Alexandro Marin. We've known Danny Zamora for a long time. Uh, we appreciate his help in putting the fight together. And, uh, and uh, like Bruno said, Mike Basil with uh, Snack. Uh, training, you know, want to uh, acknowledge them up there. And uh, my understanding is Bruno's bringing a lot of a lot of fans down from Northern California to to watch the fight. So, and this is this is right before the uh, HBO broadcast. So, with that, I want to bring up. Uh, he's managed by a close friend uh, of mine, uh, Nate Peak, uh, who's you know, and Ethan Later, who uh, you know they've been really pushing to get uh, Alexandra also on uh, the Superfly show. So not only do you have the, the three Superfly fights on the HBO, this is a fourth uh, championship fight uh, right before the HBO broadcast. And again, it'll be streamed internationally, worldwide. So with that, I want to bring up Alexandru Marin. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for everybody. Uh, and to thank you, 360 Promotion, uh, Tom Laffer, appreciate for uh, to be here, and appreciate for uh, uh, respect for uh, uh, my opponent, and let's see what happened uh, Saturday night. I'm ready 100%. Thank you, guys. We always uh, support uh, female boxing. We uh, we work with Cecilia Brekus, who's uh, uh, besides Alexander Usyk, the only undisputed champion in the sport of boxing. Um, and uh, here we have a special, special addition to the show, a special feature, I would say. Uh, two very marketable, very attractive ladies fighting each other, but not only 
the way they carry themselves outside the ring and the way they speak outside the ring, but also the way they fight inside the ring. Um, you have uh, Louisa Houghton, who's fought on a number of our shows, uh, eight, and, eight and one with four knockouts, fighting uh, Brenda Flores from Tijuana, uh, 12 and four with uh, two knockouts. So uh, this will be a great fight. This is for the vacant, uh, it's actually interim Adam, uh, WPC Adam Weight uh, Championship. For those of you that don't know Adam Weight, because I didn't know before this fight was made, it's 102 pounds. So this will be an exciting fight. Uh, between two great female warriors. Uh, we're really looking forward to that. I want to bring up uh, Brenda Flores to say a few words. Um, hola, buenas días o tardes. Son tardes ya a todos. Eh, muchas, muchas gracias por, por, por todos los medios de comunicación que están aquí. Eh, Muchas gracias a la promotora que me dio la oportunidad de, de, de hoy estar aquí, pelear por el título, un título del cual desde hace seis años que empecé como eh, peleadora amateur, eh, soñaba con él, me hice profesional y hoy mi sueño está por, por cumplirse, eh, agradeciendo, ¿no? agradeciendo a todos ustedes por, por esto. Loisa, eh, un gusto eh, pelear con ella, una peleadora a la cual… Eh, incluso yo admiraba por su bonito estilo que tiene ella, por su rapidez. Eh, igual, no muchas, muchas gracias. Yo estoy muy contenta, estoy muy satisfecha. Eh, no creo en la suerte, siempre lo he dicho, creo en la preparación, creo en el trabajo. Y bueno, yo me preparé muy, muy bien para esta pelea, eh, concentrada. Eh, mi equipo, mi equipo. Oh, ¿Va a hablar? Ok. <risa> ¿Eso me lo hubieran dicho desde un principio? Va. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I'm just very happy to be here. It's a great opportunity for me. I want to thank everyone that made it possible. Uh, six years ago when I started boxing, my dream was to fight for a WBC title, which I'm going to be doing this Saturday. I thank everyone uh, for this opportunity. Uh, I know Luisa. I know she's a very good fighter. She's uh, very fast. I really do respect her and I uh, admire her way she fights. So I'm looking forward to uh, trading uh, with her. Eh, esta vez, eh, sí, incluso nunca he peleado en un peso de las 102 libras. Eh, he peleado en 105, he peleado mi peso real, son, son los 49 kilos en las cuales siempre he peleado, pero siempre tenía la oportunidad de bajar más. I, uh, I never fought at this lower weight. It's the first fight that I'm going to fight at 102. I fought at 105 before. Actually, my weight is actually the 108, 112. So uh, it's going to be a challenge to make the 102. Y cuando se me dio la oportunidad que me dijeron, eh, está esta pelea en las 102 libras, en peso átomo, eh, inmediatamente sonreí y dije, va. Es un, muchos me dijeron, no vas a poder dar el peso. Y yo dije, yo creo en mí, creo en lo que, en lo que hago. Y bueno, soy, este, soy una persona muy, muy disciplinada. Creo que lo demostré. Y en cuanto nos dijeron peleas por ese título, dije, va, nunca pregunté con quién, nunca pregunté nada, sino pregunté, dije, ¿cuándo es? When uh, they told me about the fight, uh, the 102 uh, pounds came up, and I said, no problem, I'll make it. Uh, this is a dream for me. I didn't even ask when, where, who, I just wanted to uh, fight. Inmediatamente me fui al gimnasio. Eh, con, eh, bueno, con mi sonrisa grandota por la oportunidad, eh, me dediqué 100% en una preparación física y una preparación técnica y creo que por primera vez mi promotora y, bueno, y todo el equipo me dio la oportunidad de prepararme para una pelea de título del mundo, ya que el 2 de diciembre tuve la oportunidad también de pelear en la Ciudad de, de México por el título del mundo pero no había tenido incluso esa preparación y incluso lo di todo, pero me faltó aire, ¿no? And uh, this uh, preparation has been a really a world-class preparation. The first time I fought for a world title uh, in December of last year, I was not as well prepared for a championship fight, and he showed in that fight. Uh, the altitude got to me at the end, uh, but for this fight, when they told me about it, I was a little big. I knew I had to uh, go down and wait, talk to my team, and uh, we've been working very hard. We prepare very hard. Estoy muy muy contenta de que eh, 
esta, esta promotora, incluso ya este, eh, haya boxeo de mujeres, eso, eso indica que el boxeo femenil está fuerte y yo muy, muy feliz de estar aquí y el sábado eh, regresarme a Tijuana siendo campeona del mundo. Gracias. And of course, you know, the promoters now uh, giving us an opportunity to female uh, fighting in this great card, and I'm taking my belt to Tijuana after the fight. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, I think we can sit here and listen to Brenda and Lulu speak all day. <laughs> so with that, uh, managed by uh, Grant Elvis uh, Phillips, um, I want to bring up uh, a former world champion. Uh, she had won uh, her world title over in, uh, in Japan, and now she's looking to win a second world title. Most uh, champions go up in weight. She's coming down in weight to 102 pounds to uh, go for her second uh, world championship. So I want to bring up Bang Bang Lulu Houghton from Australia. <laughs> G'day guys, how you going? Um, thanks for coming out. It's, um, I'm so happy to be here and be fighting on the Superfly 3 card um, amongst these great fighters. It's awesome that um, Tom is getting behind women's boxing and giving us a platform to showcase our skills and our talent and I'm very grateful for that. Um, to fight for the WBC Adam Weight title has been a dream of mine for um, a very long time. Uh, I did go up in weight, but it's always been this, this belt that I've had my eyes on. So I'm very, very excited to be here, um, especially to be fighting at the forum again uh, in front of everybody. And um, I'd like to thank, firstly, uh, Elvis Grant for connecting the dots and really working really, really hard to make my dreams uh, possible and to give me this opportunity. Um, Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I'd also like to thank my team for coming out. Chris, all the way from New York. Elliot, running around doing uh, all the behind the scenes. And um, Jimmy Montoya. And also 360 for um, embracing me and giving me this, this time to be able to be a part of this group. And um, I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> I'd like to say g'day to Australia. What's up? Um, tune in, guys. It's the live feed's going to be coming, so make sure that you get in and have a look at that. Um, <laughs> I'd like to also thank the crew at Jerry Ortiz's gym, Myra and Kayla for the work. And, um, you know, they're like my family out here, and it's um, a blessing to have them and be around so many beautiful people. It makes um, coming across from Australia and missing my family a little bit easier. So thank you guys for embracing me. Um, you know, this is, this is going to be an exciting fight. Uh, Brenda, Brenda, you know, she can fight. She's fought the championship fights. She's going to be throwing a lot of punches. It's going to be high pace and it's going to be a lot of action. So I suggest that everybody gets in a little bit early just so you can catch this fight because you don't want to miss it. And um, make, sure, make sure you're tuning in at home, around the world, in the Philippines. Jump on that live feed. Uh, we got something to give you guys that might be a little bit different to seeing the men all the time. So, you know, this is our place and we belong here as well. Um, so everybody, I'd like to say just sit back and, or sit on the edge of your seat and enjoy the show. Thanks, guys. It's time to get that green belt, baby. You definitely don't want to miss that fight. Uh, again, the terrace opens at 3 o'clock. The doors open at 4 o'clock. Uh, the tailgating will start at 2 o'clock. The forum is uh, world famous now for their tailgate parties, so we're looking forward to all the fans coming down early. Um, you know, that's going to be a lot of action in this fight. This might actually steal the show from the men's fight, so uh, don't, don't miss uh, Brenda and uh, Lulu. One thing, you know, you, you learn a lot of things as you're going through a promotion. One thing I learned about Lulu is that uh, her mother is from the Philippines, so not only does she have Australian fans, she's got Philippine fans as well. She showed up for the Philippine uh, event at the community center, and uh, this is just uh, an exciting fight that we're looking forward to, to having on the show. Um, with that, I want to get uh, move on to the uh, HBO fights. Um, you know, all these, as I said, the Superfly series has tremendous matchups. This is an HBO triple header. 
when you have the first fight of the triple header being between Kazuto Ioka versus McWilliams Arroyo, you know it's a quality show. Uh, the HBO broadcast, as Tony said, it starts at 6.45. Uh, these two uh, uh, warriors are fighting for the uh, WBC uh, Silver Championship, so whoever wins this fight not only uh, moves up dramatically, but also positions themselves for a great fight uh, the next time. So uh, that's what uh, McWilliams did. He beat uh, Quadras. Now he's back on HBO and, uh, you know, in, in, in a great uh, highlighted fight. So with that, I want to bring up... Um, I want to bring up someone who was on the Puerto Rican Olympic team. Just reading Bernie's notes here. Um, he's, uh, he's uh, as I mentioned, he uh, had a, a great victory over Carlos, Carlos Cuadras, and now he'll be defending his WBC Silver Championship. I want to bring up McWilliams Arroyo. <laughs> Good afternoon. First of all, I want to thank God for this great opportunity. I'm happy to be here again in the Superfly 3. I want to thank all the fighters. Um, uh, you know, I know you guys are going to do an excellent job. And I'm very happy to be here again in California. I want to thank Tom Lawfer, HBO, and WBC. You know, I've, I've worked very hard all my life. So expect an excellent fight. I know that Kasuto Yoka is a great fighter. So we prepared very well for him, and I believe this could be the fight of the night. So enjoy it and have fun. Thank you. With that, I want to bring up uh, someone who's reached uh, legendary status in Japan. Uh, he had retired last year, but uh, a lot of fans wanted to see him back in the ring. He actually came. I didn't realize that Kazuto came to Superfly 2. He actually bought tickets to come to the Superfly 2 show at the Forum. And then I had a meeting with uh, Taku, who came to the office and said, uh, Kazuto wants to be on Superfly 3. I talked to Peter Nelson at HBO, and uh, we're really excited to have this matchup between uh, McWilliams Arroyo and uh, Kazuto Ioka. Um, this, is, this could be the fight of the night. Uh, very exciting between these two experienced and established uh, warriors, one from Puerto Rico, one from Japan. So I want to bring up Kazuto, and Taku will uh, translate for, uh, for Kazuto. Good afternoon. Uh, 360 Promotions HBO uh,関係者の皆さんに感謝しているので 9月8日セプテンバーアイスは盛り上がる試合できるように全力を尽くしたいと思います I'd like to thank 360 and HBO I look forward to bringing an exciting match with Arroyo together on that night Thank you Thank you very much Thank you Kazuto Now, now we have uh, the co-feature This is going to be for a vacant WBO World Championship. Um, boy, this is an interesting matchup. We've had uh, Donny Nietes on Superfly 2. He had a tremendous victory. Donny's a three division world champion. He's moving up to the Superflyweight division. And he's gonna be fighting Aston Palikte. Uh, when you look at these guys train, we were at the Filipino uh, American uh, Community Center. We were at Freddie Roach's uh, Wild Card Gym. Uh, and two guys that really like to promote this fight. Um, when you saw Donnie hitting the mitts down there at the Wild Card Gym, you could tell he was punching, punching very hard. When, uh, when you see Aston as tall as he is, it's going to be a very interesting matchup. The height, versus the power and the boxing. It's, this, is, this is one that I'm really looking forward to on this, on this show. It, again, it's a co-feature. It's for the WBO World Championship and Super Flyweight Division. Uh, I want to give a special acknowledgement to uh, Roy Jones Jr. 
uh, promotions. Uh, they promote, they promote uh, Aston, and uh, we're very easy to work with. This fight actually had been scheduled to take place in the Philippines, uh, actually last month in August, August 18th. And when I was going over the matchups with Peter Nelson, I said, you know what, this is such a great matchup. We just had Donny Nietes on Superfly 2 that we should put this fight on uh, Superfly 3. And uh, he was 100% supportive. I called up Ala Promotions, who promotes, uh, who promotes uh, Donny Nietes, who we worked with uh, before on Superfly 2. And then I called up, as I mentioned, uh, Roy Jones Jr. Uh, promotions, and they were all, all for it. They, they realize the significance of being on this HBO platform that will be broadcast all over the world. And, and uh, you see the success of guys like Chocolatito. You see success of guys like uh, Juan Francisco Estrada of uh, Sister Ket Sorungasai. Changes their lives to be on HBO. And so they jumped at the opportunity to uh, shift this uh, fight back just about a month uh, to be on this show. So with that, I'm really uh, excited and proud to bring up Aston Palikte. Wow. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank God, uh, my manager, Jason Sung. Sir, thank you so much. I don't know, I'm emotional because I'm happy. Um, Rogers Promotion, Sir Git, Beltri, Sir Guy, Taylor, thank you so much. Um, HBO 360 Promotion, thank you so much. My team, uh, Coach Rudel, Coach Stanley, uh, Coach Steel. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, team Nietes. Uh, sa lahat po ng laban ko simula dati, malit pa ako hanggang lumaki ako. Pangarap ko mag uh, lumaban ng World Championship. Uh, lumaban ang championship, manalo ng World Championship. At uh, masaya ako. Uh, emotional ako kasi... Hindi ko, hindi ko kalain dito na ako ngayon dahil sa hirap ko. Ever since I was a kid, I always dreamt of um, fighting for a world championship and I'm super happy to be given this opportunity right now. Uh, lahat na mga kakalaban ko or pinapangarap ko dating makalaban, yung mga the best, world champion, kahit sparring lang, uh, masaya po ko at proud po ko sa sarili ko at uh, malaban ko dati, yun gusto. Uh, gusto ko talaga makakalaban yung mga the best so world champion. Uh, kasi win or lose, proud po ako sa sarili ko na nakakalaban ko sila at na-enjoy ko, na ko po yung boxing. Ever since I was a kid, um, I always dreamt of uh, going up against great boxers and I'm thankful for this opportunity to be actually part of one, um, to be uh, up against uh, Donny Nietes. Uh, yung laban ngayon, uh, Kahit sabi natin, dalawa kami Pilipino, trabaho lang po, trabaho lang. Nagawin ko ng best ko uh, uh, para maging uh, fight of the night. Uh, uh, wala pong uh, sa taas ng ring, trabaho lang, walang Pilipino-Pilipino pagkatapos na laban. Sa, uh, yun, uh, magkaibigan pero uh, promise po sa laban sa Sabado, bigay ko po lahat ng best ko para sa manager ko, para sa... Promoter ko, family ko, lahat. Okay. Um, even though we are both Filipinos, um, during the fight on Saturday, I will still give my best. I'm going to uh, do my job, box, and this fight is for everyone, for the country, for my team, for my family. Uh, lahat po ng hirap ko sa training, lahat. Binuhos ko po ngayong laban. Uh, yung sacrifice namin ng manager ko, uh, simulan nung start ako. At uh, yun, Sobrang thank you talaga ako sa Rogan's promotion. Thank you, thank you talaga. Okay. Um, thank you for the opportunity. All the sacrifices will boil down to this match on Saturday. Hopefully, we can bring home the belt. Uh, uh, sana po, uh, supportahan nyo kami sa Sabado, sa laban namin. Uh, against, laban ko against Doni Nietes. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, 360 Promotions. Lahat ng sumuporta. Thank you. Thank you so much po. Yes. Thank you for the support. Um, please watch and support the match this coming Saturday. Thank you. God bless. God bless us all. Thanks, Ashton. Uh, again, just want to acknowledge Guy Taylor of uh, Roy Jones Jr. Promotions. Uh, very easy to work with. Uh, we made the fight 
very quickly they were able to reschedule it and uh, we're excited to have this world championship fight uh, on the show. I see uh, Doug Fisher in the back there, uh, Ring Magazine, editor-in-chief. Um, you know, Doug Fisher has, and the Ring Magazine, yeah, we, can, we can give Doug a, a round of applause. He does, uh, he's taken over the reins at Ring Magazine and really we feel uh, has a quality product. Doug, who's the Ring Magazine pound for pound champion right now? Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, Doug's doing a great job over there at Ring Magazine. Uh, the reason why I brought up uh, Doug Fisher is because Ring Magazine has Donny Nietes rated number nine in their pound for pound ratings. If you can imagine all the fighters in the world being ranked number nine uh, as a super flyweight, as a 115 pound champion, is, uh, is really a special uh, acknowledgement. Uh, Donny Nietes. Uh, he's three-time world champion. He's also moving up in weight to be uh, for his fourth division world championship. So he moved up to 115 pounds to take this fight. Um, you know, a lot of people when we were at the uh, Filipino uh, Community Center, they were a little bit, uh, uh, they weren't so excited about seeing two Filipinos fighting against each other. They'd rather see, you know, uh, one of the fighting uh, against a different nationality. But the good thing is that the Philippines, with such a great tradition of boxing, uh, is guaranteed to have another world champion uh, as a Filipino representing their country on Saturday night. So we're excited about that. Um, again, uh, Donny Nietes is promoted by uh, Ala Promotions, Michael Aldiger, uh, we have a, a great relationship with. And uh, uh, again, from, from Ala Promotions side, uh, you know, they were very easy to work with to put this, put this fight together. So, I want to bring up, to say a few words, Editito de la Moore. He can say a few words, and he'll also translate for uh, Donny Nietes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the media, uh, good afternoon. Uh, in behalf of ALA Promotions President CEO Michael Alliger, we would like to thank ABCBN. HBO Peter Nelson, 360 Promotions Tom Loeffler for making Donny as a part of uh, Superfly series. Donny started at the Ala Gym as a janitor, but because of his humility, discipline, and hard work, he is what he is today. So without further ado, we are humbly I'm proud to introduce to you and welcome the longest Filipino world champion, 11 years and running, and three division world champion, Donny As Nietes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, first of all, I would like to thank God. Uh, he gave me a strength and good condition today. Um, I would like uh, personally thanks uh, WBO, uh, HBO 360 promotion, uh, Rene Nelson, and Tom Loeffler uh, to this opportunity to be part of Superfly series. Uh, I want to thank my manager and my mentor, uh, Antonio Aldiger, and my promoter, Michael Aldiger, and chief trainer, uh, Edmond Villamore, and matchmaker, uh, Edito Villamore, and the ABCBN and my family. And to the WBO, uh, to the support of my throughout my career, this is this is a dream come true for me uh, to be fighting for a fourth division world title. Um, we will put up a great show with Aston. Thank you, 
and God bless. Wait, before, before Donnie leaves, I just wanted to ask him, Donnie, how did you get your nickname, uh, Ahas? I'm curious. Uh, before uh, I get my nickname of Ahas or Snake, before during the, uh, I'm a janitor at the gym or utility, uh, I, I take care of the pet, my manager. Then after, after, after go to the boxing, uh, I bring the snake um, inside the ring during the fight. Thank you so much. See, you learn something new every day. I knew, uh, I learned that uh, ahas means snake, but now we know, so you brought a snake in the ring. Um, okay, here we go. This is the moment we've all been waiting for now. Uh, we're moving into the, the main event. Uh, you know, as we uh, mentioned before, Juan Francisco Estrada is the uh, only boxer to have competed on all three Superfly shows. Um, this is Again, for the right, this fight is for the right to challenge uh, Sister Ket Sorungasai. So if, uh, if Estrada wins, he will have the guaranteed rematch with Sorungasai. If uh, Felipe Oracuta wins, this is a huge opportunity for Felipe. He'll be, this will be his first time on HBO. He'll be fighting to have the right to guarantee him a title fight. So. Two great Mexican warriors fighting against each other. Um, Juan Francisco had an article in the LA Times today. Uh, he's been getting a tremendous amount of uh, publicity. And, um, you know, he was on the uh, ESPN Deportes show with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. And uh, Sr. said Juan Francisco is his favorite fighter from Mexico. So that's a huge compliment from the legendary. Uh, Chavez Sr. So uh, with that, I want to bring up, he's promoted by Promociones del Pueblo, uh, Osvaldo Kikle. I want to bring up Felipe Orocuta. Good afternoon to everyone. Quisiera comenzar dando las gracias a todos los que hicieron posible porque hoy en día yo esté aquí. I want to thank everyone for this possible. HBO, al Gallo Estrada por la oportunidad que nos da de pelear con él a mis promotores Mariano de León y Osvaldo Cucle, a mi equipo de trabajo que hicimos una gran preparación, creo que es la mejor preparación que hemos hecho en toda mi carrera y sobre todo a mi familia ya que pues ellos son el motor de mi vida y sin ellos este, este motor no arranca. Thank everyone, uh, my team, my promoters, uh, Tom Loeffler 360, uh, obviously Estrada for giving me the opportunity to fight him, uh, my family who are really the people that uh, uh, make me Uh, do what I need to do. Me gustaría comentarles que esta pelea para mí es un sueño hecho realidad, ya que deseaba tanto estar en una gran cartelera y pues hoy en día se me da esta oportunidad eh, enfrentando a un gran rival y, y en el Forum de Inglewood pues creo que, que no hay nada mejor que me pudo haber sucedido. Eh, estoy muy contento, estoy muy feliz por, por esta gran oportunidad y no los voy a defraudar. This, this is a great uh, opportunity, a dream come true for me, uh, being in a great card, I guess a great champion in a great venue like the Forum, and I uh, assure you, I will give you my best. Les puedo prometer que esta pelea va a ser una guerra, una guerra arriba del ring, entre dos mexicanos. Me preparé muy fuerte a conciencia, hice todo al pie de la letra y vengo a buscar una victoria como de lugar, es la pelea de mi vida y por lo que he trabajado todo, todo este tiempo es, es mi momento y vengo, vengo muy bien preparado. Gracias I, por su atención. I promise you I come as well prepared as I ever come for a fight. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, the biggest fight of my life, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Felipe. Now I want to bring up someone who we've uh, worked with, again, for all three fights of the Superfly Series. Um, he's the manager of uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. Uh, he works closely with Zamfer Promotions. So I want to bring up uh, Juan Hernandez to say a few words and to introduce uh, Estrada.
Thank you, Tom. Thank you guys for, um, for joining us today and for supporting this uh, series of Superflies. Um, it's our, we, we're starting to feel like at home now in LA. It's uh, Estrada's fourth fight here in LA. He's had some of his biggest fights here. First in Chocola, against Chocolatito, and then uh, Cuadras, Sirsaket, and now this fight. I think, uh, I think uh, this has all the ingredients to be another classic Estrada fight. I think Orokuta uh, is a very underrated fighter. Um, he's, I think, a lot more dangerous than people may think. He might not be very popular because he hasn't fought in the States, but um, he's from Mexico City. Mexico City fighters are known for their heart, their endurance. He has a great corner. His trainer, Tiburcio Garcia, is one of Mexico's best trainers. He used to train uh, one of Mexico's legends, Jose Luis Castillo. Um, so they're definitely a dangerous opponent. Orokuta knows that he's one win away from um, possibly dethroning Estrada and fighting for the title. So he's, he's very dangerous. Um, but Estrada is also ready for that. He's aware of the risks. I, I want to take this opportunity to thank his trainers, Alfredo Caballero and Alvaro Salcido. They did a great job in preparing him for this fight. They, they all went to the mountains of uh, Mexico, by Mexico City, Jiquipilco. They make the sacrifice, they leave their family behind for weeks. But uh, Estrada is uh, at 100% preparation for this fight because of the importance. We're, we're uh, grateful to, to everybody involved, to HBO, for allowing Estrada to um, headline his own Superfly, or his first Superfly, I think he earned it. He, he's the only fighter to be on the three Superflies because of his two other battles, his classic fight against Cuadras, and then um, even better, a potential candidate for fight of the year against Sirsaket. Um, so we're very happy to be here again. We wanna thank um, our partners, Promociones Sanfer uh, 360, I actually have a, a confession for Tom. So exactly a year ago was Superfly 1, and then a week after that was uh, Canelo Triple G. I was rooting for Canelo because I'm Mexican, but three Superflies later, next week I'm gonna be all Team Triple G. They, they've, been, they've been a pleasure to work with, him, Erica. It's, it's been, um, it's been a, a nice ride, and hopefully we can keep it going. Hopefully Estrada can win this fight. We can do the rematch with Sirsaket. Estrada wants a rematch with Chocolatito, and he wants to get back to uh, being considered one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters when he becomes a champion again. So now I'll um, quickly introduce to you Estrada. I'm going to try to compete with uh, Edito's presentation of Nietes. So I'll introduce you to um, considered by many, including Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., the best fighter in Mexico, Juan Francisco El Gallo Estrada. Buenas tardes a todos. Good Muchas afternoon gracias. to everyone. Muchas gracias por, por estar aquí. Thank you for being here. Estoy muy contento por, pues para mí es una, una oportunidad también, es una eliminatoria del campeonato del mundo, el CMB, y pues muy contento por, por esa oportunidad. You know, I'm very happy for, to be here, especially uh, I know how important a fight it is, an elimination bout for the WBC. Agradecer a mi empresa, Latin Sport, a Juan Hernández, por la oportunidad, a mi equipo de trabajo, que hicimos una gran preparación, a 360 Promotion, por la oportunidad. I want to thank uh, Juan Hernández, Latin Promotion, uh, my team, they did a great job, and of course, uh, 360. Pues como dije, tengo una gran preparación de trabajo. Eh, la última mes y medio estuvimos en la altura y pues eh, vengo con las ganas de ser campeón del mundo de nuevo y yo creo que este es un gran reto para mí. Eh, también agradecer al equipo de Orocuta por la oportunidad porque como digo es una oportunidad para mí. It's, uh, it's, I prepare very well. I went up six weeks up in the altitude. Uh, great preparation because I know what I'm up against. I want to thank Felipe for uh, coming up as, uh, to fight me. It's a real challenge for me. Yo creo que esta este sábado van a van a disfrutar de pues de una gran cartelera, ya que hay buenos y buenas peleadoras. I want to tell you that you're going to be uh, enjoy a great night of fights. There's some great fighters in this and great women fighters too. Pues invitarlos que no se pierdan esta pelea este sábado 8 de septiembre. Eh, Vamos a dar una gran pelea. Gracias. 
I invite you to come out on September 8th to see a great, great fight. Thank you, Juan Francisco. This main event is El Gallo versus El Gallito. They're, they're a nickname, so it's a, it's a tremendous fight that we're, we're looking forward to. Uh, you know, Chocolatito, who, uh, again, who this series was really uh, modeled against, he's fighting a week later. So he'll be fighting on the Triple G Canelo pay-per-view show. Uh, we're looking forward to him getting back into the ring. Uh, so many great, so many great fights right now in the super flyweight division. Again, the uh, tickets start at twenty-five dollars. I think with the with their uh, ticket fee, it works out to like thirty-one dollars, something like that. But to be in the lower bowl at the Forum and the ringside seats on the floor are only one hundred and fifty dollars. It's a it's a tremendous value seeing all this world class, all this world class talent talent here. The doors open at four o'clock. With all these great undercard fights, don't don't be late. Make sure uh, uh, you tell everyone, all your friends, to come early, and we'll look forward to seeing everyone at the fights. I think Roy has an announcement before we uh, pose the fighters. All all the fighters, make sure you have a wide lens to get so many great fighters on the on the picture. But then Roy has an announcement before we wrap up.